Good morning and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel. This here is a Solar Silver Ford Puma Titanium MHEV. So it's a mild hybrid electrical vehicle. So once again, no plugging in, no charging, no waiting around. All the electrical magic happens automatically. So all you need to do is get in the vehicle and drive. It's going to give you some great MPG of over 52.3 combined. We are registered on a 2021 registration, so that's going to give us warranty until June 2024. The vehicle itself has done just over 12,000 miles, so it's incredibly low mileage, and we've got some great spec, and it's in fantastic condition. So let me take you around this Puma and show you everything you need to know. So we're going to begin at the front of the vehicle, like always, and we're going to wake up these gorgeous headlights. And we've got some lovely LED headlights with LED daytime running lights around the outside of the lamp. In your video, they might appear to be flashing. That is simply because the frequency in what the video is recorded in. But it, let me assure you, in real life, they look fantastic. Just below, we have some LED front fog lights and front parking sensors that trail all around the front lip of the bumper there. We arrive now to the offside front wheel, where it's a lovely 17-inch machine alloy wheel. So you can see the nice shiny face there with a the gloss black just behind it. It is a lovely colourway. These wheels look fantastic and they are fitted with Goodyear tyres as standard. So as you can see there, you've got ample of tread remaining. Making our way around the vehicle now, we're going to try and get some lovely reflections in the bodywork. But before we do that, let's talk about some of the driver assistance. So that includes blind spot assist in both the wing mirrors. So if someone was in your blind spot, whether it's the near side or the offside, you'll have a little orange illumination in the wing mirror there to tell you it's unsafe to pull in or out. If we're looking at the door handle now, so we're going to lock the vehicle. So I'm just going to get the key out, lock it up, and try and get this in one frame. So this key, this vehicle has keyless entry, so if you tap behind the door handle here, it will unlock the vehicle, and you tap on those four lines there, it shall lock the vehicle. So ensuring you've got the key in close proximity, such as your pocket or handbag, you can gain entry to the vehicle, nice and easily so once again tap there it will unlock the vehicle and that is a power folding and heated door mirrors for good measure okay so i'm going to make our way around to the offside rear uh, rear privacy glass trails all the way around the rear windows and now we're here we're going to slowly pan the way down and show you the condition of this lovely puma like so and then we end up at the offside rear wheel I'll give you a nice sight of that Wonderful. So we're going to make our way around now to the rear of the vehicle. And we've got some rear parking sensors all the way around there. A good condition rear vision camera. And we've got some lovely EcoBoost hybrid badging. So it's an EcoBoost engine. So it's a one litre that produces 125 PS of power. That 125 PS of power is transmitted through a six speed manual gearbox. So you've got some lovely EcoBoost hybrid badging there. Okay, let's make our way round to the near side of the vehicle. Fuel filler cap is positioned on the left-hand side. And once again, we'll try and get some lovely reflections in all the bodywork. And we'll just cruise down to the near side front wheel and give you a glance of that as well. Beautiful. Rightio. Back to the rear now. Double click of the button. That is going to open up the power tailgate so you can double click on the button there and that's going to open up lovely we also have a button on the right hand side to shut it all down again so starting from the top we have a lovely tornado cover that is kind of built in to the rear window there so it's going to um, automatically go up and down so you don't have to worry about that at all so this little bag here we have a nice tight uh, compressor and sealant kit easy funnel hose and a locking wheel nut I'll take this out for a second so I can demonstrate the rest of the boot. Okay, we have a, a, a multi floor height boot here, so you can see the different adjusters there. So you can adjust it to whatever height you like. In the higher height, there, then you fold the seat down, you can have a nice flat entry across the rear boot there. So it increases the volume. If you wanted even further depth, you push it in a lower position. Obviously, then it doesn't meet the seat. You do have more volume in the boot area. If I was to lift this up once more and lock that in like so, we have the Ford Megabox. So underneath the boot liner altogether, we have this waterproof 
bath tub style area muddy wellies uh, put your lunch in there anything you like but it's going to keep the vehicle nice and clean and you've got a nice little drain plug at the bottom there so once you're done you can rinse it out nice and easily okay so that's a bit about the boot let's put all the bits and bobs back in and we're going to shut up the rear tailgate beautiful okay obviously the vehicle's locked so what i need to do now is unlock the vehicle there we are once again okay let's just lift this seat back up again right so okay so starting at the door card we've got electric windows on every door card there moving away around to the rear so this is the titanium interior so it's a cloth interior which is like a perforated cloth at the bottom there it was nice and durable hard wearing got a nice pattern on it and it's really padded as well two iso fixing seats so one on the offside rear and one on the near side rear as well so clip those baby seats in and keep them nice and secure but i'm a big fan of this uh two-tone cloth you've got like a dark charcoal and a black and it's all defined by some lovely silver stitching all the way around okay so that's a bit about the rear of the vehicle let's go have a look inside the front so we have four window controls all your mirror controls are all on the driver's door card we'll pan around now and we'll show you the lovely driver's seat and work our way from top to bottom once again, you've got some lovely padding on the lower back area. And once again, the base part of the seat and some uh, nice thick padding as well. So manually adjustable, so you have a lumbar support there, height adjustment, rear tilt, and obviously a forward and backwards adjustment as well. Okay, let me just get my legs in. Keyless entry is matched up with a keyless go button. So foot on the clutch, the light goes green. That's going to give us power to the vehicle. Okay. So this is the driver display here. So we've got an RPM gauge on the left hand side and a speedo to the right. In the middle we have a digital driver display which can be controlled by the arrows and buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel. So it's nice and easy to go through all your different gauges, whether it be a hybrid gauge, you've got the driver assistant, so I mentioned that earlier, blind spot assist, pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition, lane keep system, driver alert, wrong way alert, cross traffic alert, uh, eco coach, cruise control, and a speed limiter. So tons and tons of driver assistant software on board this vehicle, obviously keeping you nice and safe. So that's a little bit about the uh, the screen in front of us there and it's nice and easy to navigate through using the arrows you can have your navigation directions on there if you please but yeah so it's a lovely user-friendly display to go through and obviously you can get all your chip computers on there as well so it'd be a, a nice easy system to go through here is the sync 3.4 screen so we've got the dark blue band at the bottom of the screen there we can navigate through all the different functions such as your navigation there as well nice and easy to put a search into here so click on the search bar and we can go charlie mike 776 sierra alpha and that is going to find you perkins garages we're going to click on the search bar there and that will take you straight to us like so if we come out of there once more uh, we can also get the rear camera on the screen so pop it in reverse and there we are so we have the nice uh, park assist features on there as well so you've got the white lines navigating you in and now of any tight parking spot down here as well we also do have the ford park assist option so you can click on that button and the screen will navigate you in and out of any parking spaces that use the front and rear parking sensors to help you get in and it will automatically park the vehicle for you it's a very bizarre system but once you've uh, used it a couple of times it really is useful so there's a little bit about the sync monitor there we'll come out of there once again and we can click on the mode buttons we've got different drive modes there eco sport we've got a slippery and we've got a trail mode as well so you can go through all different drive modes to whatever suits you Heating, ventilation and air conditioning controls are found just south. So we've got different fan speed, different temperature control, and it's got the winter packs. We've got heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, and electronically heated front screen. Perfect for those frosty mornings. So they're soon approaching us, so you can defrost your screen nice and quickly. 
Apart from that, we do have different vents in the middle. Air conditioning is found to the right along with recirculation. Different demist options there along with an automatic air conditioning function. We have a nice little cubby hole down there to keep all your mobile phone, a USB to connect your phone to the screen, and that will support things such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The buttons down there is what I was just playing around with, automated parking is to the right, we've got traction control, we've got a mode button, automated stop start, and one for the parking sensors. Excuse me. Okay, before I go, we do have the adaptive cruise control on the left hand side of the steering wheel. And uh, yeah, so that's about everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did have any questions, like always, give myself or one of the sales team a call 01376 550 899. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye for now.